This sexual then, activity with no protection, no regard. I, I, you all, is this what y'all doing just for a daily activity? Hey, no, 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 no. You gonna get back to the part I need to understand because a female cannot impregnate anybody and this is paternity court, so we need somebody to be a father. You all over here supposed to be married to one another, sleeping with this person, sleeping with that person, and bringing children into this world within this man. In desperate need of child support, Miss Chappelle stepped up in the court, suing Mr. Todd. She claimed that the defendant was the father of her baby girl and his girlfriend was manipulating him for denial. Meanwhile, the man alleged that the woman was just pinning her child on him to get back at him. Miss Chappelle, you say the defendant, Mr. Todd, is without a doubt your daughter, Willicia's biological father. You say the only reason he denies her is because his fiance, Miss Collins, doesn't want him in your life. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you're suing Mr. Todd for $2,475 for babysitting expenses and for lost wages. Initially, the plaintiff claimed that the alleged father's negligence made her lose her job. She claimed that the man had never taken care of the baby, so she had to pay for that. But the man denied it, and the awful war of words blurted out like this. Um, I was had a job, Your Honor, and he was babysitting the baby for me. And after he didn't babysit anymore, I had to start paying $75 a week for babysitting fees and lost wages, and I didn't have a babysitter and I couldn't keep up with the babysitting fees so I had to quit my job and I don't have a job anymore and here's my papers right here Jerome will you hand me those please I have never watched our baby you on I don't even know when she had a job Wow this was just insane Mr. Todd further claimed that baby mama was sleeping with another man as she conceived the baby which inflamed his doubts but it turned out that the man was still beating the girl because besides his main girl he had several side chicks because at the time she was messing around with other guy and by me being young and just doing crazy stuff i go and mess with her at the same time too so she was messing with men all at one time but this one never my girl i had i was in a relationship with someone yeah. at that time and she was messing around too so at that she felt so what you're saying it was an understanding that you all had sex unprotected sex. Miss Chappelle denied all the claims. She alleged that she was not messing around with any other dude besides the man standing at the podium. And this time, the man's girlfriend could not hold herself back. So she jumped in and they started squabbling like this. Miss Chappelle, do you admit that you were having sex with other people in addition to Mr. Todd during the window of conception? No, you Honor. She a liar. She was not even in the picture, you Honor, so she has she, nothing she just, to do with this. When, we was what together picture that was? 2011, what, I was pregnant with with someone oh, else, baby. Our baby was no, already here when they met you, the Honor. Honor. All right. Our no, babies no. were here before she Listen. came in. Listen, all, right. right. all right. However, things took a worse turn when Miss Cullens came into the picture. Further, it slipped that Miss Chappelle stole the phone and then took revenge for cheating by breaking their car windows. And to support her claims, the co-defendant brought evidence. I dropped him off. the phone that Ms. she Miss Chappelle. I bought him a phone, Chappelle you Honor. Chappelle approached me and bust my window out of my car. I called the police on the scene, no. and I had proof Lies. that, and I, I had proof Lies. that she bust out my windows on my car. She ran. I have she, she came to a receipt. She was. That's when how, how she get well met. And I have proof, and I have a police report town. that Come she bust my wonders out on my car. Do you have that evidence here today? I do, no. ma'am. Further, it was revealed that baby mama was in miserable condition, so the defendants decided to take her to their house. But the bummer was the plaintiff turned her eyes after that and made other people take care of her baby while she was out having sexual intercourse with different men. When I first met Miss Chappelle, we let her move in with, with me and Mr. Todd. We let her move in. Wait a minute. You let Miss Chappelle me. move into the house with you two? Yes, yes, because where she was living at was not healthy for her or the baby. And when I had a conversation with Mr. Todd, he said, this is a girl trying to put a baby on me, saying that this could be my baby. I said, well, we can move her in just so we can get tested to see if this is your baby. Oh, my. How could people be so annoyed? Like, if you have embraced the baby, then what could be the point of denial? As Mommy disclosed that when the baby was born, he came with his whole family and complimented the baby. But the man cunningly changed his statement and asserted that even the doctor said to him that the baby was not his. Because when we was together, I told him that I was pregnant, and he was like, oh, this your third child, whatever. But he was like, our child would be the prettiest child, whatever, whatever. And I was like, okay, it's cool. We're gonna have our baby, and we came to agreement that he would be there for her. And when I had her at the hospital, him, his brothers, all of them came. came. to the hospital. Did you go to the hospital, Mr. Todd? Yes, I went to the hospital, yes. yeah. And now it was time to listen to Big Mama. She testified that the man 
man was swinging in between different women without protection. This triggered Judge Lake about the mess they had created. So she articulated the facts like this. He was on his first baby mama. That's who he was messing with. At the time when he was messing with my daughter. Oh, he was what with a his first mess. baby mama. I was messing with no baby mama. I was messing with, you was my, with my girl who oh, I was with for eight she, years. All right, listen, listen, but she listen, wasn't listen, 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 not listen, my listen, baby mama. Listen, 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 listen. Oh my God. It's like y'all playing tic-tac-toe or something. Yeah, I mean, you just yeah, here, yeah, there, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. A goof blame game was going on in the court, and no one was ready to drop their stupid allegations. But as you know, it's Judge Lake's court, and no one could bamboozle her. So she thrashed the man like this. Oh, she wanted to come to me and mess with me. And, 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 well, you want to mess me. with her too. But all the other men Thank mess you. with Thank her. Thank you. She mad because Hey, bottom line is you got to pay to play. Thank right, you. right. You, you, play. you, you acting play. like it's yeah. a game. You no, hold on, Miss Collins. I'm talking. That's the part that you are missing in this. Y'all acting like it's a game. Hmm. The alleged father and baby mama had intoxicated the situation instead of resolving the friction, but it was evident that both needed DNA results badly for their baby and their relationship. So let's get those results. Mr. Todd, you are not the father. Oh. And you know oh, you're, you're smiling. Like Chappelle? Yes, because girl, at the end of the pretty, day, this it. is his problem with that did they say. I ain't having sex with no one else. You on? I know this the only man I was messing with at the time. Yep. I know it. Pernicious rumors warned Mr. Green about not being the father of his wife's baby. He dragged his spouse into the court, claiming she was amphiphilic and had messed with other people, which knocked him out of this paternity run. Meanwhile, the defendant was determined to prove him wrong. Mr. Green, you claim that the defendant repeatedly cheated on you during your marriage with both men and women. Yes, Your Honor. You state you have every reason to doubt that you are one-year-old Keegan's biological father because of Mrs. Green's sexual track record. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you've petitioned the court for a paternity test. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Green, you say Mr. Green wasn't ready to be married and that he was the promiscuous one. Yes, Your Honor. The alleged father's doubts regarding the baby's paternity flared up when he started to behave differently. He claimed that he never knew where her wife was or what she was up to. She never bothered to inform him. But the mommy claimed that the plaintiff abandoned her and the child. That's why she stepped back. I mean, she used to leave me in the house, like, for numerous amounts of time. Like, she would tell me she'd go into the store for, like, an hour. She'd be gone for, like, two or three hours and get back. I asked her where she'd been. Like, she just been to her girlfriend's house. To her girlfriend's house can mean really her boyfriend's house or both. Like, who knows? You know what I mean? What if the store was just crowded? I don't think Burger King at 10 o'clock at night is crowded until, like, one in the morning. It slipped that the potential father moved to another city with another woman. But to defend himself, he claimed that when they broke up, the baby mama gave birth to another man's child, which ticked Judge Lake like this. Okay, and then it was another time where, like, I flew back from Atlanta. Like, we said we was gonna get it together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I flew back from Atlanta. Came with, in the house, with chilling. with another woman in Atlanta. Tell so the whole story. We just broke it up. You already had another child by somebody else. Okay. So what you mean? Yes, ma'am, I did. And he would have also had another child during that point. If still allegedly. another said, that child. Was allegedly. That, that wasn't is, mine. That there allegedly. is still that another smart. child. What that kind of marriage is this? <laughs> Further, the man revealed that he found the wrappers of the condom, which made him certain that his girlfriend had brought another man into the picture. But the woman stated that she had never cheated on him. And the other guy came when Mr. Green left for his baby's mama. Uh, Even I found when the you were together. together. I found the condom wrapper on the floor. Like one time I came home or whatever from being like out or whatever, mm -hmm. out of town or whatever I came, it was out a condom wrapper on the How floor. How long were you out of town for? Where were you at when you were out of town? I was in Atlanta. Right, in Atlanta, right. Yeah, I was in Atlanta. With who? With my son mom's. But we wasn't together. So what are you talking about then? But still, what did you, I found the condom wrapper on the floor, you smutty. Okay, let's- However, the baby mama claimed that she had not dragged anyone into her marriage, and at the time she conceived the baby, she was intimate with the potential father only. But the man denied her testimony, over which she reacted this way. Back for like a month before I found out I was pregnant, I had not been with anyone during the time that this child was conceived besides Oh, really? Him. Somebody wasn't calling your phone? So- Oh, boy, kept wasn't keep calling your phone? Do you phone? get pregnant through the phone? Anyway, like I said, I hadn't been with anyone 
mind during the time that this child was conceived besides him. You are certain yes, that during that time, even though you'd had sex with other men and women, during this time when this child was conceived, you were only sleeping with your husband? Yes, ma'am. The man claimed that people around the town were sending him red flags due to his wife's swindling. So his cousins put on their detective hats and found out that his wife had spent a significant amount of time in the men's barbershop. This is rumors that I heard she was with other people. My cousin on them telling me that she be on the barbershops all the time, messing with this one, messing with that one. You know what I'm saying? She, she now, like, all of this was happening during the time the baby was conceived? Yeah, this is all around the same time, yes. This is all around the same time. We was partying, yeah, we was partying, having a good time. Together. Whatever, together, yeah, we was partying, right. having a good time together. Plaintiff alleged that his wifey had made him fall from grace as she brought another woman for her husband to fulfill her desires. Oh, gosh, this was hard to comprehend. What woman on earth asks her husband to bang another woman? That's so gross. I never, never was involved with no, I you know what I'm saying, swinging stuff. No, to a grown man to a sinner. I ain't saying I ain't a sinner, nothing like yeah, that. Okay. But that was my first, like, sexual experience with two females and all that. She, she asked for all of that. He she, was there, That was though. her people's. He that was, was her own girl. Who does that? He was You know, there. what woman brings another woman into the situation, into the equation? So That's now she you, to do. Uh, you two, and as I a married like, couple, I didn't even like the female. Like, during I didn't even the like time, the side oh, he didn't like that female. Yeah. He liked it. You don't have like Nonetheless, the man claimed that his wife brought another into their marriage, which made him doubt the baby's paternity. Uh, but sir, no woman can father any child. Judge Lake reminded him like that. It turned out that the baby mama told himself that she was messing with another dude. She actually brought a female into the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, she brought Well, a she's not gonna get pregnant by a woman. I hate to break that to you, so we need to understand what men have you heard. No, no, I'm gonna get back to the female part, if I can no, no, elaborate. No, 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 you gonna get back to the part I need to understand because a female cannot impregnate anybody and this is paternity court, so we need somebody to be a father. However, Mrs. Green testified that her spouse was just making things up, yet she confessed about having a relationship with another. She claimed that the potential father had double standards, so he kept another going on. And even his claims sound fishy, so Judge Lackey hopped into it like this. Yes, I did admit to having relations with someone else during the time that he was gone, but I never said it was a possibility that he was my child's father. No, ma'am. He has double standards. Everything's cool as long as it's no going his standards. way. You, why are you lying? But... You told me that. You told me that she was pregnant. You told me that you might be pregnant. Like, before okay. you, you told me you might be pregnant by somebody else. You told me that. Really? Before I even flew back there. Yes, you did. Okay. You told me that. Finally, to understand this paternity puzzle, Judge Lawrence summoned the witness. He claimed that the baby turned up and brought numerous men into her bed. This triggered the judge, so she asked for an explanation like this. Basically, she turned up. They both turned up, but she extra turned up. Uh, I believe I want you to explain to me in respectful language, if possible. Okay. What turned up means. <laughs> oh. I mean, once he told me that she Nothing. was pregnant and he was bouncing back and forth, you know, I got friends all over the place. I got cousins in, in Charlotte. They bouncing back and forth. My, my cousin got a house in Jacksonville. So I gave him a call and I'm just like, you know, just ask him Joe GP to see, you know, if she ringing like that, like he claimed, you know what I mean? I want to see what's going on. So I called my man. I'm like, yo, listen. The next Mr. Green asserted that the baby's appearance had also pinched him as the baby did not possess any feature of him. He claimed that the woman had dated the typical black man and that he looked more like them. Huh, man, didn't somebody tell you that babies come in all shapes and colors? You, you, go, look at the look, baby's nose. Their mouth is open the same with the same dun -dun, dun look on their face. Like, come on now. But my baby don't look like it you. It looks like a typical black male. Like, come oh, on. Oh, you do too. Imagine yes, that. Yes, and you've so been and you've been sleeping and you've been sleeping so with typical black about. men. And you've been sleeping with typical black I men. Wish so I wish I could on. say that child belonged to somebody else because he's an idiot. You don't see I, any I wish resemblance I here. No. With all the testimony, it was evident that nonstop bickering and allegations would not help them find the clue they were looking for. And the truth was sealed in the DNA envelope. So to end their paternity dispute, Judge Lake rubbled towards the results. Mr. Green, you are the father. Now turn up to that. Turn up now. That's all I want. I don't know why you all mad. Like, come on. You shouldn't be surprised. I'm not surprised, yeah, are you? You shouldn't be surprised. You shouldn't be surprised that I say okay, something. I don't like, even I'm care. Sorry. I don't even right. care. It's all okay. Right, all I right. just need my let, let, let's, let's get some order. To eradicate paternity fraud, Mr. Jackson brought the defendant into court. He claimed that Miss Island had stooped so low that now she was even stringing her baby on him. Meanwhile, the mommy contended that the plaintiff was backing off due to responsibilities. So, a DNA test was mandatory to figure out this messy situation. You petitioned the court for a DNA test because you believe the defendant, Miss Elan, has committed paternity fraud by claiming you fathered her two-year-old daughter, Jemiah. Yes, Your Honor. You said Say you found out about Jemiah only one year ago, and that's why 
you vehemently deny being her father. Yes, is that Your correct? Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Elan, you say Mr. Jackson is a liar. Yes, ma'am. So the trial started of the potential father's doubts. It turned out that he did not even know about the baby for a year or two. And when the news hit him out of the blue, he went on a mission to confirm it. But baby mama turned her back on him. Oh, who plays games like this with a baby's life? This is my child. I want to be in my child's life. You're supposed to let somebody know. Aaliyah picked up and took off. Never heard from her, then she started playing Facebook games. Sending me messages through Facebook, yeah. then she would block me. Sending me messages, then block me. Using other people's names. It's just the game just kept going on and on. I, I, so you think this is a game? Yeah. It's, Are you it's, playing games, Miss Elon? No, no, y'all, no, I'm not yes, playing games. Yes, yes, game. yes, yes No, yes. he blocked me on Facebook. Yes, he changed his phone number and everything. Yeah. I actually yes, have I proof. As they weren't getting to the same point, Judge Lake jumped into the nature of their relationship. Mr. Jackson stated that he met him outside, and in no time, they were up to Hanky Pinky. But this ticked the baby mama, so she corrected the man like this. I was leaving, I got off work. She was next door from my job as a public aid office place, and she was coming out of there. And I said, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Let me talk to you, get your number, whatever. She said, sure. Wrote the number down. I said, where you headed to? She said, I'm going home. I said, okay, the bus stop is that way. Let me walk you to the bus stop. I walked Aaliyah to the bus stop. She gave me the number. Right after that, I called her. She answered the phone. That night, me and Leah had sex on the back porch. Further, Miss Island claimed that they were not in any committed relationship as the man decided to keep her just as a sex partner. Oh, wow. That was not typical, but surely fishy. No strings attached yet, standing in the paternity court, shouting to the core, which made the judge furious. So you're in a sexual relationship. Was that it? That's were you it? boyfriend and girlfriend? Or no. Was this was just... No, this was just a sexual relationship with no commitment. No commitment at all. Gosh, she's lying. We no commitment. We wasn't in a relationship. It was just sex-wise. Every time he called my phone, it's sex-wise. That's and you all say you were in a relationship, Mr. Relationship Jackson. We wasn't then. in no relationship. We had no, we had no strings you. attached. And yeah. it's just sex in a car. She's a jump off. No She's reason, a jump no off. However, things were getting wishy-washy as nobody was sure about their relationship status. The next, the potential daddy claimed that the woman was messing with another simultaneously. Hmm, that was interesting. But the mommy did not let him play and bashed him like this. I was just messing around with him, but you stay calling my phone, calling me. Yeah, who, explain the guy on the back porch. Who's that guy on the back porch? Wait, I thought you was on, on the back, back porch. porch. Oh, my God, yeah. thank you. Two guys oh, on the back wow, porch. wow, wow. There were two guys on the back porch. Me and the mystery man. Tell me I was on the back porch. Wow. The guy will no, grill me. You're just Look jealous. You're just a jealous person. If you see someone else around, you think that I'm messing with somebody. No, that whole time we yeah, were just having sex. It was at just that time me and you. you. Oh my! What were they bragging about? The man alleged that baby mama was cheating on him as she had guys leading from the back porch to the hallway. However, the owner claimed that his cousin caught the defendant banging another man. So you know, when things like this happen, people need to roll up to the court. Let me know Thank who you. the guy was. I asked her. I said, "Who was this guy?" She says, "Aaliyah." He boyfriend. don't even talk to my family member. When he comes over, he don't even... Most he do is, hey, and that's about it. It's me going out that door, going down nah, the stairs nah. with him. They was letting that's me come about in the it. house. That's they stopped about it. all of that. I was coming in the house. How you go you coming in the house? You stepped foot in the house one time. After that, it was just car action. Both parties were at odds, and nobody was helping in resolving the mess. Furthermore, Mr. Jackson alleged that Miss Island always turned him off from his life. And once he, fortunately, met her family member who revealed the existence of baby Jamia. Mr. Jackson, so yes, it was your feeling that she was up there with a another man, yes, and that's Yana. why you could see her peeking out the curtain. Yes, Yana. But they were telling you she wasn't home. Yeah, she wasn't home. One more week, Yana. I came. She's gone. She don't live here no more. Um, damn, she don't live here no more. Okay, cool. She moved. Guess she called it off and let me know. Leave it alone. Man of my business. One day, headed to the bus stop see a woman that I know. Nevertheless, the lady did not let the man knock her down with his accusations. She claimed that the man was lying about certain things. So to prove him wrong, she brought an exhibit of him abandoning her the whole time. He heard about it because I told him about, I do actually have proof. I do have a timeline of every time he disappeared when I did tell him that I was pregnant. It is, if I can show. You have Either proof. You're even, yes, you, I, know, I have it here. November 15, 2015, I found that I was pregnant. How did I know? Because I missed my menstrual period. When I went to the hospital, it confirmed that I was pregnant. I called him and told him he was excited. He come see me that night. The same day, November 15th, he came to see me. Yeah, no child deserves to live without knowing who her father is. Baby mama got emotional while explaining how baby Jamia felt being alone in the world. So in her support, Judge Lake articulated like that. You know, I can't like break it down to her because she's two years old, but I can't explain it when she's older, but it made me feel sad. I do sometimes grab my baby, I cry. That's what I do because I'm very emotional and for her to sit here and ask me about her dad, that, that, that's a hurtful feeling, it is. It's a hurtful feeling, a hurtful feeling. That was for her first birthday. He was nowhere. Be found. All of these moments he's missing. He missed. 
Some misunderstandings simply added up in this paternity issue. Like here, the Stricklands were stuck in the paternity issue so bad that they couldn't move forward and only wanted the results so they could work together for the baby, Jamia. Mr. Jackson, you are the father. <laughs> <laughs> you are the father. That's your beautiful little girl, two years old, and has no relationship with her daddy. Out of everything that was said, all the testimony I heard, the ghosting, the this. Every girl grows up looking up to her father, and that was just the case for Ms. Others. Growing up, she had a great relationship with her dad, but suddenly, things took a pretty bad turn. It all happened when Ms. Others' father all of a sudden started denying paternity. Poor Ms. Others, just a teenage girl, had to struggle to accept this new reality. Because all I know him as my father growing up. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta interject because not once in her 18 years have I ever denied her. Not once. But you're denying her today. You're I've saying that never you may her. not be her father. That is correct. Because of being deceived by her mother. When my daughter was about two years old, she and I became intimate again and she wound up pregnant. So of course I'm being excited. Well, Mr. Bell has a lot to say. According to him, in the beginning, he believed that this was his daughter until he found out that the woman he had been involved with hadn't been very honest with him. So he met Ms. Others at a McDonald's and gave her an ultimatum. He wanted a DNA test. You admit this McDonald's day happened? Probably. Probably. I can't recall that. I don't recall that. <laughs> Mr. Bell, if you forget a fact like that, your credibility is shot. No, no, because that wasn't a topic of conversation when I met her at McDonald's. Now, Judge Lauren asks Mary, the mother, to step into the court, and she insists that she had always been honest with Mr. Bell. She had already told him that her first child might be another man's, but Mr. Bell claims she kept lying. So who's being the honest one here? Then Mr. Bell's mother comes into the picture. Did you have any doubts at that time? That no, no doubt at all, Your Honor, no doubt. Only when the baby was born, the little boy. So you don't doubt her? I don't doubt You Deanna. believe that she's your son's child? I believe there's a possibility, yes. A possibility. Oh, yes, yes. But you also because believe was that there. Ms. Other, her mother could be lying again. Yes, most I'm definitely. Not lying. Because I'm not she lying, is Your a liar. Honor. I'm not lying, Your Honor. Everybody starts arguing and forgets that this is actually about Ms. Others, the teenage girl who doesn't know if her father is her father. The judge asks her to share how it felt being at the center of so much chaos, and she says it was incredibly hard. Whose baby was that? That was my god baby. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. She came to my job with my grandbaby and asked me for more money. I gave her the money. Her mother calls me and said, why did you give her money? She's been doing nothing but using you for your money. It all turns into a big mess, and Mr. Bell even talks about smacking the girl. This man has to be out of his mind. Mr. Bell accuses his daughter of being a liar and a troublemaker. He keeps yelling in court, and after all this trouble, there's only one way to resolve it. Mr. Bell, you are not. I knew it! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I knew it! I knew it! I told you! I told you! He's a liar! No, he's a liar! And I know who the daddy is. I told you! I told you! I know who the daddy is! Thank you, Thank you so much! Told you, Tiana! Told you!